Welcome back, guys. Oh, man. We are going to take things to a whole new level in this episode. Trust me. Now, we're going to be focusing on uh, Waterloo and the, the railway line that runs from Waterloo down to Kingston and uh, down, also down to Surbiton and out to the southwest of England. So we're going to be focusing on that. We're also going to be focusing on the, uh, the number 85 bus route into Putney. So those are the two things that we're going to focus on. But we're going into the centre of London. We're going into the centre of London. We're going to have at least one major landmark, like a real one, not Ikea. A major landmark going in. But before we start with this, I've got to show you some stuff. And like I've got to show you quickly before my freaking head explodes. This is... Ugh, this is freaking staggering. If I, if I thought this game was great before. Now I think it's freaking unbelievable. You're gonna love this, guys. A lot of you, a lot of you will will already have seen this stuff because you'll already be using these mods. But they, they, seriously, this is unbelievable. Uh, right. Uh, how am I gonna start? Okay. First thing, I'm using a new mod. Can you see that I can see like all the tiles? Right. This is the um, the extended zoom mod. Now, I'll remind everybody, if you're looking for any of my mods, if you've got questions about any of the mods that I'm using in this series, there's a link in the video description to Sky's London Collection. And all the mods and all the assets are in there. So you've got, if you've got any questions, go look in there. You'll find, uh, you'll find what you're looking for. Right, let's go have a little bit of a look at Kingston. Uh, what's changed since you were here last? Uh, I had to put in some extra power because this has grown a little bit. And I had to put some extra, uh, some extra water for the same reason okay so that's that right that's out of the way um i wanted to oh oh districts i've put the districts in and uh, the districts are going to play kind of an, an, an important role so we've got kingston upon thames actually if i zoom out the, the text gets bigger it's kind of weird um i've got kingston upon thames here we've got richmond park this this part that looks like well let's be honest it looks like it looks like a woman's uterus kids Ask your parents. No, sit like seriously. They'll thank you for it. There's a talk that they've been wanting to have with you. There'll be ice cream. Promise. Um, so Richmond Park. We've got Ham over here. We've got um, Kingston Hill here. And then I haven't named this one, which I need to. Because this down here, this, this area down here. And I'll, I'll zoom in and show you in a second. Because, oh God, <laughs> you're going to love the zoom on this. Uh, this is Roehampton Vale. Roehampton. Turn Vale. Okay, so uh, Roehampton Vale, and I'll, I'll zoom now. The zoom now. Let me show you this. The zoom on this thing works slightly differently. The the the, no, the normal zoom just zooms into the centre of the screen, so like it zooms in like that, right? But this one works differently. It zooms into the mouse. So if I want to zoom in over here, instead of having to move over here and then zoom in. Or like Clive Kingston, like I can just put my mouse on Kingston, and it will zoom into Kingston. See that? Like, let me do it more extreme. Like if I if I zoom in, so I'm I want to zoom into Docklands up here, this loop in the river. If I zoom in, see it zooms into Docklands. How cool is that? Right. So that's that's another thing. Uh, what else? Now, okay. Not only does it zoom out further, but it zooms into a first-person camera. And uh, would I, let me show you. Let me show you. Oops, <laughs> lost control of my mouse. Then too excited. Let me zoom into Roehampton Vale, and you'll kind of see if um, if I zoom in down here, and we can go right down to first person. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get off the road! No, <laughs> oh, we were in the cars. <laughs> we're getting run over. Look, here's Asda. Oh my God! And this Asda is open 24 hours. So that's that couldn't be more accurate. Look at that woman with the dog. That was a fast woman. She was fast. Uh, but you can see, like, um, the hill that goes up here. And Roehampton Vale is, a, like, a vale is like a valley. That's where it all comes from. And this is this is actually pretty blooming accurate. But the accuracy is going to go to a whole new level because I've got to tell you about another mod. And this thing is nothing short of absolutely freaking awesome. And the, the possibilities that it op opens up Oh, God, I can't tell you. Well I, well, I can tell you, and I'm going to tell you. Right, now, um, I need to find kind of like a good place to demonstrate this. And I think, uh, you know what? I think we'll do it over... I think we'll do it over here, right? So, now, because this is, this is nice. This is, this is two by two squares, this kind of area. So, wouldn't it be nice 
Now remember, the, the, the Victorian terraced houses, wouldn't it be cool if I could actually get this to get like a corner one here and then, you know, the nice terraced houses going along here and you know what? I'm actually going to make a change. I'm actually going to make a change to this to make it like illustrate better. Yeah, so we'll put this road in there. Right, that'll do. That'll do freaking nicely. You wait. I, I, you may think, oh, he's a uh, it's guy. He's exaggerating again. Oh, you wait till you see this stuff. Right, so we'll zone that in too wide. And I'll be putting in a whole load of roads to, to increase the, the density of these. And again, you'll see why. Right. And I've... I, I've actually, I've actually kind of done a bit over here, but you'll, you'll see. Right, so, wouldn't it be nice if I had, a, like, a corner one over here? But, of course, you can't make things spawn where you want them to spawn. Oh, yes, you can. There's a mod called the, um, the Eyedropper. And, again, it's in my collection. If you want it, go, go look at the, 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 the collection. Right, so, if I look around, right, oh, look, there's, there's a corner model, right? But it's not on a corner. That's annoying. But if I mouse over it and press the T key, oh look, it's created a ploppable copy of it, right? And if I move it over here, right, and just like bang it on this corner, oh no, oh yeah, oh but that, that's that's kind of perfect. That's exactly the mod. Oh, but it's gone. And guess what? It builds it. It builds it. It's a buildable building. Now, it needs to be in the right zone. So like if this is a, a residential building, it needs to be in the right place. And it needs to be like the right level and all that kind of stuff. So, hang on, let me... And it's T to, to cancel it, right? So you could plop it multiple times. So now, right, having got that, I can go and take one of my terraced houses, like these over here, that I was actually playing with a bit earlier, right? So, um, like this one, the Vermont residence. I can copy that, and then uh, I can plop some of these along here. So, like, I can have one, one there, one there. One there, one there, one there, one there. Then I could take another model. So let's have this one. So T to copy it. And we'll have one of those there. And if my mouse will actually do what I want it to do there and there and there. And then I can take um, this one. T. Pop that in there and there and there and there and there. We'll have two together. What the hell? And there. And there. Right, cool. Cancel that. And look, I have got my perfect row of terraced houses. Let's go a bit closer. Let's zoom. Oh. oh, I've got to get used to this mouse zooming because it doesn't. It, it zooms into where the mouse is. So, there are, look. Look at that, guys. How freaking awesome is that? Now I notice there's a lot of dead people around. We need to put in. Um, we need to put in a, a creme. We need to put in a crispy creme. And uh, oh, come on, guys! I want more names for the crematoriums. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, where's crematorium? Where should we put a crematorium? Have we got? We haven't got any crematoriums in Kingston. Kingston crematorium. Is um, is down here? You know what? For now, I'm going to put it in over here, and I'll have to move it later. Okay, so that's that. Um, for coverage, I'm going to put another one like over here, and I'll I'll put it in Richmond when we do Richmond. But for now, it's going to just like go over here somewhere, like, like there. That'll be cool. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, now the thing is, you may go, yeah, that's kind of cool, but you know, is what it is. Uh, but the thing is, when you start to think about this and the possibilities of this, it goes way beyond. Oh man, this this I got really got to get used to this. Zoom. It goes way beyond the possibilities of just like something like this, right? Because I could go over to the town centre now, right? And I can go. Oh, hang on a second. Um, this building over here in Kingston is actually this is like the main shopping centre stuff. Right, these little ones that that kind of doesn't fit. That then it shouldn't be like that. It should be more like this building. Right. Well, I can copy that and just whack one in over there. Boom. Right, and it will build that. Whoa! But it won't stay there because I put it in 
the, the, the kind of the wrong place. It needs it needs to fit within the zone that you put it in, right? But like for example, it will fit. I think uh, this is saying space already occupied because it won't fit in on this road because it's it's curved, and you'll find that you do have problems plopping these on on curved roads, right? But like this this one here, yeah, we can definitely plop it there, and boom, that'll build. So we can, like, you can make your buildings look exactly the way you want. Like, so for example, the, these red brick buildings, there's a lot of buildings which are actually like that in Kingston, right? So, like, I can copy that, right? And then go over to um, here. And there's, there's, like, a lot of these down here. So we could have, like, uh, and see, it won't plop because this, this is curved, right? But we can definitely pops them in over here I could do loads of those oh this is just this is just absolutely awesome you can get exactly the look that you're looking for and I'm gonna be doing like a ton of that uh, man I, I could spend like probably half an hour talking about that I'm gonna try and control myself and not do that because uh, I've got so much other stuff to show you right the fire station um, some new assets Okay, so this fire station, I'm going to move this fire station. So relocate. We're going to move this fire station kind of like just up here somewhere. For now. Right? Because I, I want to the, save the cash. So I'm going to relocate that up there. Right, cool. Then we're going to come back here. Now I wanted a, a different looking fire station. This one's really nice. This is the Stansted one by a guy called Zave. And you should check out some of his mods because um, his assets are just really nice so let's pop this one in there and it's it's nice and low rise but this thing actually looks like a blooming fire station it's actually got oh come back a bit let's zoom in there we go it's actually got the proper fire doors and stuff this actually is very reminiscent of the uh, the one in Wandsworth and we'll we'll put that in Wandsworth fire station is quite a big fire station and it? it looks very much like that Right, uh, next, um, hospital, oh, the hospital, oh, this is, oh, this is even better, this is even better, right, you are getting moved, um, I'm trying to think what hospital this actually looks like, and I'm thinking that there's one in Chelsea that I was actually in, I'll tell you about my car accident, because we're going to be putting in the road where I had my car accident, I had quite a bad smash, uh, let's pop you up there for now, so you're out the way, good. Uh, we get, there's going to be loads and loads of trivia. But look at this hospital. This hospital is just like a, a million times better. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This, this episode's going to be about three hours long, I know. I'm going to have to break it into multiple episodes. Look at this. The Metropole Hospital. And I'll pop it in there. Let me show it to you. Because this, I think this is such a nice model. Now that, you know, a, a, a lot of modern hospitals kind of do look like that. You know, they're, they're not you know, like eight stories high. They're like two story buildings and they've got all the stuff on the roofs. And I think that is, that's absolutely perfect. So yeah, so we've got that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, schools. Schools. Oh, now. Oh, yeah. Do you remember I told you if we go over to Richmond Park over here? I told you the, the Royal Ballet School was here. I got it wrong. It's actually a bit further over. The Royal Ballet School is here. But I wanted to put this building in because this is so like, um, I mean, it's not identical, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, education, and we're going to put in this, um, this old high school, which is, um, which is very similar. So we'll pop that in there and we'll take a little look. And it's got that, you know, it's got that look to it. Which I think is just, that, that's perfect for the, um, for the Royal Ballet School. That's excellent. What else have I got? What else have I got? Um, oh, there were some other schools. There's a, um, I think it's called Blackwell, Blackwell School. Yeah, it's something like that. I need to pick up that asset because I'm going to put that in for um, Tiffin's, Tiffin School for Boys and Tiffin School for Girls. Thank you, Adriana, for that suggestion. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? Right, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to have to do a lot of work on um, laying these roads out so that we get these terraced houses like back to back and stuff. And look, you can see these ones that I put in, they've upgraded. These will be level two buildings, I bet you. Yeah, see, they've upgraded to level two buildings, right? So what I need to do is in the district of Kingston, so come down here, is lock this. See that little red X? Yeah, you can't get any bigger. Um, I've now locked this so it can only be level one. And look, all the buildings are dezoning. All the level two buildings are dezoning, and they'll rezone as uh, as level one buildings. So, which is a bit of a nightmare because now we've got all these electricity problems. But now this is something else I can show you because this is really cool as well. Um, what we can do with the like, because you know we we can't hook up all this electricity. Right now, I could put in power cables, but why not just take one of these buildings that I'm going to put in anyway, right? So, copy that, right, and then put them in strategically so that it creates a corridor, a corridor of power. Now, because I've done that, if I switch to um, electricity, you can see that I've now, cre even though they haven't built, it's created a power conduit all the way across there, right? So now, if I turn this on. Right, hopefully, all those are going to now build, and oh look, all of our power's hooked up again, without putting in a single power cable. Woohoo! Excellent. And I've got all these little houses that I want. And this is the one with the with the bay windows. This is very typical, very typical in Kingston. Right. Okay, guys. Enough about that. I've got to get on. We've got to do trains. Right. Let's talk trains. Down here, Norbiton Station. Um, this train station is going. I'm going to move this. Oh, where am I going to put it? You know what? I'm just going to like, plop it over here so it's out of the way. There we go. And it's... Um, yeah, it's turned off. Right, cool. So, let's go back. So, uh, where was it? <laughs> it was here opposite the hospital. Of course it was. You know where it is. Sky, you lunatic. L let's go to um, transport and to rail. Now, I've picked up a few new railway stations, as well as this modular one. That's going to be Waterloo. We'll do that in a bit. Um, there's a bunch of these really nice train stations. These are Japanese ones. This is uh, Nikko train station. This is um, in Tokyo, I think. And this is Oreo train station. Yeah. And then this one, this one's the rural station. And this one's a lot smaller. See? It's like it's four deep instead of, I think, like six deep or something. So we could put this in, like, I don't know. I do like, do I use that one? Or do, cause this one, this Nico one, is more like Norbiton Station. I think I'm gonna use that one, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that one. Now the station is actually like a bit more down, it's there. Perfect, right, cool. So that's that train station in, right. I'm going to turn that off for now. We'll have a little look at it. I'm going to zoom in for you. Let's have a little look at this. Get down to this one. That is a bit more... It, it's a bit posher. I have to say that's a bit posher than uh, the Norbiton Station is. But, um, yeah, it certainly looks a hell of a lot, lot more, more like Norbiton Station than the, the, the one that was in before. And it's got these... Um, it's got this nice coverage for the commuters. Now... I have to say, uh, Norbiton Station doesn't have these um, these covers, so I don't know. I might I, I might end up putting something else in, but we'll see. But uh, that's that one, right? Cool. Let's go up to Waterloo. Man, I've got so freaking much to do. <laughs> I, there's no way this is going to be done in one episode. This needs to get turned off because it's wasting cash. Turn you off? Good. Uh, did I turn the, this train station off? I bet I didn't. Pretty sure I didn't. No, let's turn that off. Cool. Because we're losing. We're losing cash at the moment because this has all still got to rebuild. Uh, and we're, we're low on, on residential demand because um, we don't have a lot of jobs because I haven't been putting industry in. We need to be getting offices in, which is why we need to develop central London. Right. Uh, let me show you the map. I've put together a new map. And all, everybody with questions about the um, using the in-game overlays, right, 
I've done a tutorial for you, so go watch the tutorial. It's in the. Uh, it'll be in the same playlist as um, as this video, and I'll put a link in the video description. And I'll, I don't know. There's probably a link up the top of the screen now. So I've created this map, and I've cut together these sections to create this map of the of the train line that runs out of central London down here and down to Kingston. Right. So let's go. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a little look over here. We need to drop this map down a little bit. Here we go. So there we go. So we've got um, Waterloo Station is up here. Now I'm going to have to play a little bit fast and loose because obviously the river's a little bit wider, but that's okay. But we've got a major landmark to put in, the London Eye. So let's drop this down a little bit. Okay, so we've got York Road goes around there and we've got Waterloo Station to put in there. Now, this modular train station, uh, you, can't, you actually do need to know how to use it. You can't just, because I thought it's just like, well, you just plop it in, don't you? Nah, you need to know a little bit more than that. Uh, now, how am I going to do this? You know what? Let me just mark in uh, and, uh, landmarks and London Eye and will you fit? Oh, you son of a... Oh, oh it'll go there, which is exactly where it is. Ha ha ha. Perfect. London Eye, there. So, yes, get in there. Boom, we've got the London Eye. Should we take a look? Let's go over here. Let's go over here. So we're we're going to look at it from the from the Houses of Parliament side. Oh, we've got the London Eye, and it goes round and everything. <laughs> oh, how massively excited can you get about things like this? That is sweet as a nut. It's a nice model, actually. They've done a good job with that. All right, cool. Now we may have to. I, you know, I think we may have to adjust this slightly because. This, this road, it'd be nicer if this road was kind of a little bit more parallel to the river. This is where you've got to make these little adjustments. Right, so you know what? Like there. Maybe there. There. That'll do. Oh, it's giving us a nice straight edge along the river, which is kind of nice. Right, that needs to be turned off for now. We'll do all the powering up and stuff later. Right, cool. Now we can do the train station. <laughs> and the train station is freaking awesome. Right, so let's go to trains and now the, there are like, now this is the, yeah, this is the old brick central that we're going to use. And that's module three. We need to start off with module one. Okay. And what you do is you put module one. Now I've got to do it on the other side because ah, it needs to be pointing in that direction. So we're going to put it there. Then we take, hopefully, module one. And we, ah, right. Okay, cool. Go. So we're going to pop this one in and we're going to pop it in like there. Okay. Now, how many tracks I'm going to... I think I'm going to go with four tracks for this, at least for now, and we'll kind of figure it out. Let me pause this because it's going to be costing us a lot of cash doing this. Um, so what do I want then? Well, I want to put module two in. Right, well... Oh, hang on. Module two has to attach to a road and it'll only attach at the end. So how the hell do I put it next to that building? Well... There's a trick, and this is why you kind of need to read the instructions sometimes. If you take a gravel road, there is a snap point on this building there, right? You want the furthest one away from, from this road, right? So there, right? And then you draw a road out from there. There we go, 180 degrees, boom. That'll do, right, so. <laughs> Once you've put that in, and, uh, and get rid of that road. We can then go back to the train module and we take module two and then we can pop module two in next to that. And you can put as many module twos in as you want. We're gonna put a couple in. How cool is that, guys? Then we're gonna go with uh, module three, which is kind of the end one. And then we plot module three on the end there, which has got this extra little building on the end. Get rid of that, and we now have, uh, if my mouse will actually behave, we now have our modular train station. 
How awesome is that? And the platforms at Waterloo are very much like this, but there are like 12 platforms at, uh, at Waterloo. Right. But we've, we're stuck with this annoying um, dirt road. Yeah, no, no we're not, because we just demolish it. Oh, but hang on, these buildings are going to produce some um, uh, garbage. How is garbage going to get picked up? Ha, they don't produce garbage. Only the uh, Module 1 produces garbage. This guy has thought of everything. I, 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 these modders are just doing a freaking awesome job. Right, we're going to turn all these modules off for now, because um, they all cost money. Oh, yeah, they all cost money. Right, let's turn that off and turn that off. Okay, so we can now do uh, our train lines, and look at look at that. It's created a bit of a uh, bit of a ridge. He did say in the in the instructions that you you need this on like very flat land. So, but that's only that's a, it's only a little bit. I can I can live with that. I think I can live with that. Can I live with that? Yeah, I think I can live with that. But I'm really tempted to bring up the smooth tool but we'll, we'll no we'll live with it right so what are we going to do now right well we need to put in the other train stations along the route that we're going to put in and then we can kind of hook them all up 